Hello, today we are doing chapter four, section three. Our essential question is, how can you recognize lines that are parallel or perpendicular? Parallel means that they will never intersect each other. Perpendicular, they intersect each other at a 90 degree or a right angle. This is a core concept that you'll definitely need to know. Two lines in the same plane that never intersect are parallel lines. That's pretty much what I just said. They'll never intersect each other. Non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Now, I didn't say that, but that is the key point. They have to have the same slope. And they're throwing this in there because vertical lines are undefined. All vertical lines are parallel. Make sure you are writing that down. Parallel lines have the same slope. So, which ones are parallel? Well, we need to figure out the slopes on these if they have, and you can't just go by your eye. You actually have to figure out the slopes, okay? So we're going to have to find the slope of each line. So on that first one, looks like that. Order pair is not showing up 100%. That would be 1, 2. Okay. Not sure why that order pair did not show up, and it kind of bothers me that I didn't do it in blue, but eh, we can we can muddle through that. So that's line A. Um, it would be two minus three over one minus negative four. You get negative one fifth. Let's do line B. You would get negative one minus zero over one minus negative three. Uh oh, we're getting negative one fourth. If you were to visually look at it, you might think that there's the same, but they're not. Let's do line C. 5 minus negative 4, or negative 5 minus negative 4 over 2 minus negative 3, you get negative 1 fifth. So the only ones that are the same are line A and C, so they are your parallel lines. Line B is the odd man out there. So we want to write an equation of a line that passes through. 5, negative 4, and is parallel to the line y equals 2x. So they're giving us a point, but are they giving us the slope? Well, they kind of are in a roundabout way because it's parallel. Parallel lines have the same slope. So since the slope here is 2, the slope of the parallel line also has a slope of 2. So since... I know that, I'm going to be able to write an equation. So y equals mx plus b. I know the point, negative 4, 5. I'm just plugging in my x value and my y value. My slope is 2, so I'm plugging that in. Now I'm going to solve for my y-intercept, which is going to be negative 14. And... I'm going to end up with y equals 2x minus 14. I'm kind of wondering if anybody thought of a different way to solve this, maybe with a slope-intercept form instead. Not slope-intercept, point-slope form instead. You might want to take a second and try that. The y minus y sub 1 equals x times x minus x sub 1. You can use that, simplify it, and you can get the same answer. It's about the same amount of work, though. Just a different way of approaching it. All right, a line A passes through these two points. Line B passes through another two points. Are the lines parallel? Explain. Well, you're going to need to find the slope between those two points. 
and then you need to find the slope between those two points. And if they're the same, they're going to be parallel. Here, you're going to write an equation of a line that passes through that. So they're telling us an x and a y. And it needs to be parallel. So they're telling us the slope is 1 fourth. Take a second. Try those two on your own. Let's, when you're ready, hit play again and see how you did. So on the first one, they don't have the same slope, so they're not parallel. On number two, you're going to end up with y equals 1 fourth x plus 3. All right, let's take a second and talk about perpendicular. Perpendicular, I told you to cross at 90 degree angles, right angles. What you need to know about the slopes here is that they're opposite reciprocals. Opposite, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Reciprocals, you're flipping the numerator and the denominator around. So negative 2, its opposite reciprocal is 1 half. Because you could think of that as negative 2 over 1. Change the sign, flip the numerator and denominator. Vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular to each other, which makes sense. So, determine which of the lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. Well, what we need to do is find the slope of each line. Line A, that's going to be the easiest one because it's already in slope-intercept form, so it's got a slope of 4. Line B, we have to put that into slope-intercept form. So you subtract x and then you're going to divide by 4 and that's where that negative 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths comes from. So its slope is negative 1 fourth. Line C, you're going to add 8y to both sides. So you're going to get negative 2x. Did I say you're going to add 8y to both sides? What am I thinking? You're going to add 2x to both sides. We're solving for y. So negative 8y equals 2x plus 16. And then you're going to divide everything by negative 8. And that's where that negative 1 fourth x minus 2 comes from. So we've got 4, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth. So lines b and c have slopes of negative 1 fourth. So those guys are parallel. The opposite reciprocal of negative 1 fourth is 4. So line A is perpendicular to line B and C. All right, writing an equation. We want to write an equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 1 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 1 half x plus 3. So they're giving us a point right there. And in a roundabout way, they're also giving us the slope. Here the slope is 1 over 2. The opposite reciprocal of that is negative 2. So my slope is going to equal negative 2. Let's write that a little bit neater. my slope is going to be negative 2. So now we've got a point, we've got a slope, we can write an equation. So I'm going to go use my point-slope form. 
y minus y sub 1 equals m, x minus x sub 1. We know our point, the y coordinate is 1, that goes right there. Our x coordinate is negative 3, that's where that comes from. And our slope is negative 2. We can distribute that negative 2. Add 1 to both sides. So y equals a negative 2x minus 5. All right, here are a couple problems for you to try on your own. On number 3, you're going to have to solve for y and get that into slope-intercept form. Compare your slopes. On number 4, the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 is 1 third. So I'm thinking that your slope is probably 1 third. Go ahead and hit pause when you think you have the answers. Hit play and check yourself. So on number 3, B and C are parallel because they have the same slope. A is going to be perpendicular because it has the opposite reciprocal. So on B and C, your slope should have been 3. On A, your slope is negative 1 third. All right, let's take a second and look at some work problems. The position of a helicopter search and rescue crew is shown in the graph. The shortest flight path to the shoreline is one that is perpendicular to the shoreline. Write an equation that represents its path. Okay, so let's take a second and really understand that problem. You can see the lines here. Here's your shoreline, and you know the coordinate of that helicopter. 14 comma 4 and we want to write an equation so we're going to have to find a, the slope that represents the line to the shoreline and we're going to use the negative reciprocal to write a point slope form of an equation so let's go ahead and solve that so find the slope of the line that represents the shoreline the line passes through the points of 1, 3, which, let's go ahead and mark that, 1, 3, and 4, 1. So I'm getting that off the graph, okay? That wasn't specifically given to us, but that's information that I can get from the graph. So I now have the equation of not the equation, but this, I can get the slope of that shore. So, and I know that this red line is going to be perpendicular. So I'm going to use the opposite reciprocal. The opposite reciprocal of negative two thirds is three halves. So the slope of my red line is three over two. So I've got the slope and a point. Let's go ahead and plug it into the point slope form. Plug in my x and my y coordinate and my slope of 3 over 2. Distribute that 3 over 2. Add 4 to both sides. And the equation of the red line, which the helicopter would be traveling, is y equals 3 halves x minus 17. So that's if you're going to do a linear representation, that is the flight path it should be taking. You can go back and you can plug that back in to verify it is a solution, and it does work. So in example 5, a boat is traveling parallel to the shoreline and passes through 9-3. We want to write an equation that represents the path of the boat. Probably should have told you to hit pause, but it's going to be negative 2 thirds x plus 9. Go ahead and work that out and check your answer. All right, that is all I have for you today. As always, you are welcome to come into Math Lab or iPass. Enjoy.